நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பு எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் இன்னொரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் பிராட் டு யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த தமிழ் வீடியோ of a renowned astrologer jyotish mahaguru aditya guruji the link of the original version that is a tamil video is given in the description box of this video this is astrologer deepa and i'm presenting you the english version of the tamil video in my last video i explained about the effects of moon in 12 different houses for the natal of scorpio ascendant In this video I'm going to explain about the natal chart of one of the leading stars of the Tamil film industry Mr Ajit Kumar Dear subscribers I have been explaining the natal charts of many famous people In this video I'm going to explain about such a very famous personality the leading actor Mr Ajit Kumar We are going to discuss about the natal chart of Mr. Ajit and we are also going to discuss certain predictions related to one of the most expected political entry of the actor, his future. What are the planetary positions that help him to shine as one of the most leading actors in Tamil Nadu? I'm going to explain also how my concepts of subhatva and pabhatva apply in the natal chart of this actor in astrological terms. Now you will see the natal chart of the leading actor Mr. Ajit. He was born on 1-5-1971 that is May 1st 1971 in second rabat i have not mentioned the birth time here those who follow me and all my subscribers know very well that i never discuss the natal charts of the great personalities whose birth details are not credible i discuss the natal charts of only those great personalities whose birth details are reliable If only I receive credible information from reliable people I would discuss those charts having said this I very well know the birth time of Mr Ajit very very precisely the natal chart that you see on the screen is a natal chart of the leading actor Mr Ajit Kumar and the corresponding navamsa chart is also shown here was born on the date of May 1st 1971 and was born in Secunderabad in Andhra Pradesh he is a native of leo ascendant and jupiter resides in the 4th house in the 6th house mars and rahu resides and there is a conjunction of mars and rahu in the 6th house and in the 8th house 
Mercury and Venus reside and in the ninth house Sun is exalted that is ascendant Lord is exalted in the eighth house Venus is exalted and in the ninth house Sun is exalted in the tenth house Saturn resides in the twelfth house K2 and Moon reside I often reiterate a point that there is no debilitation or exaltation in Navamsha. The houses are not numbered. In Navamsha, the ascendant is Gemini. And in the house of Leo, we can see Moon and Rahu. In Virgo, Sun resides. In Libra, Jupiter resides. In Scorpio, Venus resides. Saturn resides in Capricorn. Mars and Ketu reside in Aquarius and Mercury resides in Pisces. The important point here is that Mercury resides in Revati 4th Pada that is in its own nakshatra in Vargotama. Now let us see the highlights of this natal chart. I often reiterate a point in my videos that a planet that is highly subhatva in one's natal chart will make the native inclined towards a profession related to the karaga of the planet which is highly subhatva. Now let us see how my concept of subhatva applies in his natal chart. He is the leading actor very famous among the people very much loved by the people and one of the most leading actors in the film industry. Two planets are highly Subhatva in his natal chart. The planet which is most Subhatva in his natal chart is Venus. Venus signifies the art industry and it makes a person to appear on the screen. Venus helps a person to appear on the screen and Mercury is the planet that signifies the people who are working behind the screen like directors, scriptwriters, musicians and Rahu will help these two planets to work in the film industry. This is the combination for a person to work in the film industry. Based on my concept of Subhatva, Pabhatva and Sukshma strength, in the natal chart of Mr. Ajit, Venus is the planet that is highly Subhatva. In his natal chart, Jupiter aspects Mercury and Venus by its fifth aspect and Saturn by its seventh aspect. Now it is time to decide whether Saturn has got higher Subhatva or Venus has got higher Subhatva. Though it seems like Saturn has got the direct aspect of Jupiter, Venus has more Sthanabala than Saturn because Venus got exalted in the house of Pisces. Therefore, Venus is the planet that has got the highest Subhatva in the natal chart of Mr. Rajit. In addition to this, Venus has the aspect of Jupiter in only 5 degrees of difference. In other words, Venus is the planet that gets the aspect of Jupiter just five degrees apart. Therefore, Venus is the planet that has got the highest Subhatva in his natal chart. This is the reason why Mr. Ajit Kumar leads in the film industry and this is the very same reason why he got inclinations to act in the film industry. And now let me explain the status of Saturn. Saturn is in its friendly house that is in the house of Venus. It also receives the aspect of Jupiter. This is the reason why Mr. Ajit worked in an industry which was related to automobiles where he got interested in the mechanic professions of cars and bikes. He was very much interested in automobiles since when he was young. When Mr. Ajit was born, the balance dasha of Saturn was 15 years, 6 months and 11 days of Saturn. 
I repeat the balance dasha of Saturn. It is 15 years, 6 months and 11 days. And needless to say, I have reiterated a point in my articles, in my videos, that when Mercury gets debilitated, the education of the native will not be good. This is the reason why Mr. Ajit could not complete his school life, rather he was interested in automobiles, bike racing, etc. And later in the film industry as well. Mr. Ajit could not complete his schooling because the debilitated Mercury has a role in that. Apart from that, Mercury is in Vargotama and resides in Revati, the fourth Pada. This is the reason that the native learned a lot of things by experience though not by going to school because Mercury got Nichibanga here. This is the reason why Mr. Ajit has not gained direct knowledge by going to school, yet he can understand the people around him and has got a better knowledge about the world that school has not taught him. Here Mercury is not a Subhatsuva because there are 20 degrees of difference of Jupiter aspect on Mercury. As I already mentioned, Venus has the aspect of Jupiter within 5 degrees. So, Venus is the highest Subhatva planet in his natal chart. And this planet Venus led the native to be inclined towards the film industry. I will conclude that our concept of Subhatva applies in this natal chart 100%. I often reiterate an important point in all my videos that in the natal chart of the great winners, the ascendant lot will be very strong. And the ascendant lot should not be Pabatva as well. The Lagna should be strong and it should not be Pabatva. In a classic natal chart, the moon and the sun will be in quadrant to each other and in case these planets are in quadrant to the ascendant as well then it is a more classical example of a fortunate person mr ajit is a native of leo ascendant and his natal chart sun is exalted in the house of aries i have mentioned in my few articles that when sun gets exalted for the native of Leo ascendant in the ninth house, it creates Karaho Bhavanasti. In certain situations, there will be some shortcomings. What will this Karaho Bhavanasti deliver? It will affect the father of the native but not the native. When the ascendant lord is exalted in one's natal chart, it indicates the native will lead in whatever domain he steps in. In his natal chart, it is more important to see that the ascendant lord is exalted and without any connection of a malafic. I have never mentioned the aspect of exalted Mars on the exalted sun as a malafic connection by which a planet can lose its strength consequently. In other words, for the native of Leo Ascendant, when Sun gets aspected by Mars, Sun will be strengthened by Mars and will not be spoiled by Mars since they both are mutual friends. And more importantly, the Ascendant Lord itself gets exalted and it is in the house of an exalted planet. That is the Dispositor is exalted. This is such an auspicious position. I often reiterate the point that the strength of the dispositor plays a very very important role. Here the Lord of Aries which is Mars is also exalted. When a planet resides in the house and the major planetary period of the planet is happening, then the planet will deliver benefits when the dispositor, that is house lord, is strong, 
that is when it gets exalted sun is the planet that helps a person to lead in the domain whatever the native takes sun is the planet that also gives a lot of self confidence to the native now let us see what sort of confidence has this sun delivered to mr rajit the easiest way to get a place in the film industry or the family background will be related to the film industry or the father might be a producer or director or an actor or family members will have a political background or the native will have a very strong influence in the society all these will help a person to get an entry into the film industry easily on the contrary mr ajit entered this film industry by investing only his efforts and his confidence who came from a family that does not have any connection with the film industry he entered the film industry without any recommendation from others in the initial phase of the profession and the film industry though he faced many failures he carved his own place in the film industry and he raised himself to the position of a leading star merely because of his confidence and efforts his talents this much confidence and focus was delivered by the exalted sun which is the ascendant lord and exaltation of mars which is the dispositor of aries the courage and self confidence of mr ajit are immeasurable let me give another example where the exalted sun played a role in his life during the period of ex chief minister of tamil nadu when there was a public event happening mr ajit did not hesitate to say something openly in the event in front of the ex chief minister mr karunanidhi though it invited a few criticism this courage was given by the exalted sun in his natal chart mr ajit kumar's natal chart is a classical example of how a natal chart of the great achievers of the society will be where the concept of subhatva pabatva sukshma strength the rules of vedic astrology applies 100% I often add another point in my videos that the malefic planets Mars should have a connection to the moon and the malefic planet Saturn should have connection to Jupiter this concept of subhatva applies 100% in his natal chart the malefic planet Mars was cooled and calmed by waxing moon the planet which has got the second level of subhatva Saturn which gave to him the interest towards automobiles cars bikes was aspected by jupiter in a classical natal chart the ascendant lord and the ascendant should be strong it should not be pabatva here saturn does not aspect the ascendant but mars aspects the ascendant mars which is raja yogadipati which is the lord of the 4th house a quadrant house and lord of the 9th house a trine house aspects the ascendant lord sun and it also aspects the ascendant house the house which receives the aspect of raja yoga dibadi will be nourished the two malefics saturn and mars have got drig bala Mars is aspected by moon waxing moon and Saturn is aspected by natural benefic Jupiter As a next step I would like to explain another point here Based on the concept that when ava yoga planets or subhatva they will not deliver verse effects though Mr Ajit is go undergoing the dasha of ava yoga planets it does not deliver verse effects Having said this the major planetary period of the avayoga planets such as Venus, Mercury and Saturn 
will give a very high position to Mr. Ajit since these planets are in connection with or aspected by Jupiter. Currently, he is undergoing major planetary period of Venus and minor planetary period of Jupiter. This is a Yoga Jataka since the Rashi also gets aspected by Jupiter. I can even add one more point um, important concept of astrology here. When Ascendant and Rashi gets aspected by strong Jupiter, it is such an auspicious natal chart. In this natal chart, the planets which are functional benefits reside in the houses whose dispositor are exalted, that is, whose house lords are exalted. Mars, which is the dispositor of the ascendant lord Sun, and Lord of Fourth House is exalted in this natal chart. Two planets. 5th house lord and Lagna lord are residing in different houses whose dispositor Mars is exalted. I have explained this even in the natal chart of ex-chief minister Mr. Karunanidhi. I can even explain the concept again when I publish the natal chart of Mr. Karunanidhi in future. So another highlight in the natal chart of Mr. Ajit Kumar is Ascendant Lord and Jupiter resides in the house whose house lord that is dispositor is exalted. I would like to add one more concept here. I have often reiterated the importance of Subhatva of the 8th house and 12th house. If in one's natal chart if the 8th house and 12th house are Subhatva, one will reside in a very distant place or will acquire the citizenship of a foreign country. And I have witnessed this in thousands of natal charts. I feel very proud when all my followers follow this concept and find it to be true in the natal charts they see every day. Having said all these, even in the natal chart of Mr. Ajit, we can see the Subhatva of the 8th and 12th house. A person who was born in Secunderabad in Andhra Pradesh now leads in the film industry in Tamil Nadu. He got settled in Tamil Nadu. Which planet made him to move to Tamil Nadu? The aspect of Jupiter on the 8th and 12th house made Ajit Kumar move to a distant place and get settled in that place, which is Tamil Nadu. Jupiter aspects the exalted Venus, which is in the 8th house, and aspects the 12th house to the ascendant by residing in the 4th house. And this is the reason why Mr. Ajit moved to a neighboring state and got settled in a place which is far away from his native place. A question might arise in your mind that why Mr. Ajit has not gone abroad. You might question why the native did not go abroad or settle in abroad or did not get the citizenship of a foreign country, though 8th and 12th house or Subhatva. Here Mr. Ajit has only crossed from one state to another state, not a foreign country. I would not like to elaborate the concept in this video, but for those who see or, or those who learn astrology at the primary level, I would like to explain something in brief. I always reiterate a point that when the following concept applies 100%, the person will reside in a foreign country. Please remember the point that the major planetary period of the planet in the movable sign that is Chara Rashi should happen. If the 8th house and 12th house are Subhatva and if the Lord of the 8th house and Lord of the 12th house are in connection with each other, if Dasha of the planets in movable sign or Chara Rashi happens subsequently or if the major planetary period of Rahu or Ketu happens, 
one will settle in a foreign country permanently. But here, in the natal chart of Mr. Ajit, since Dasha of the planets, which are in movable sign, did not happen subsequently, and currently, since the Dasha of the planet Venus, which is in dual sign, happens for a long time, Mr. Ajit did not travel or could not travel to a foreign country and get settled there. Rather, he moved to another state within the country and got settled. There is one more highlight in the natal chart of Mr. Ajit. Here, Moon and Mars reside in opposite houses at the same degree, aspecting each other. Moon, which is in its house, Cancer, aspects Mars, which is exalted by one degree and is considered to be very, very auspicious. The cusp of the ascendant is in Ketu nakshatra. The lagna resides in Makar nakshatra and the planet which gave the cusp of the bhava, which is Ketu, remains Subhatva by the conjunction of the moon and the aspect of Jupiter on it. If one is unique among a thousand people or one crore people, the concept of my Subhatva and Pabhatva will identify which profession the native will pursue or will do. These will prove my concepts of Subhatva and Pabhatva. It is really obvious that if one is very famous, very unique among people, among many people, all the beneficial rules of Vedic astrology will apply in the natal chart. Having said this, the, the cusp of the ascendant house remains Subhatva. He was introduced to the film industry in 1992, at which time he was enjoying the major planetary period and minor planetary period of Mercury and Venus. In other words, Mr. Ajit was introduced to the film industry at a very young age of 21 years. At that time, major planetary period of Mercury and minor planetary period of Venus, that is Dasha and Antar Dasha of Mercury and Venus was happening to him. Venus at that time made ground level preparations to make Mr. Ajit a leading star in the Tamil film industry, which happened later that happened after many years. It is a remarkable moment when Mr. Ajit got introduced in the film industry during Mercury major planetary period and Venus minor planetary period. Now let us come to a million dollar question. Mr. Ajit Kumar has carved a very important place in the society by his profession, by his good deeds. Now the question is, will Mr. Ajit get into politics? This is the question often raised in the social networks and it is asked by many of his fans and his acquaintances. This is often discussed by many people in Tamil Nadu. Before discussing the political entry of Mr. Ajit Kumar, let me tell you something where I made predictions regarding the political entry of another leading actor in Tamil Nadu. In 2017 itself, I have written an article in Malay Malar and I have written some articles on Facebook. I have published many videos that Mr. Rajnikanth will not enter into politics and he is not personally much interested in getting into politics. Yes, I have predicted that long back in 2017 itself. As I have even explained in his natal chart the reasons why he will not get into politics. I mentioned in my videos that the people around superstar Mr. Rajnikanth nudges him to become a politician and he personally does not have the interest to enter into politics because sun in his natal chart has not much Subhatva and it is aspected by Saturn and it has lost the directional strength as well. I mentioned in my videos and articles that the planetary position to become Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu 
is not present in the natal chart of the superstar Mr. Rajnikant and he will not have the opportunity and he will not have interest to grab that position. I have published a video much before he declared that he is not going to start a political party. I believe it was December 31 at which time Mr. Rajnikant declared in public that he started a political party. It was at that time I published the video that he will not become Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. Some of my well wishers even insisted me to withdraw that video since they are concerned about the consequences of that video. Mr. Rajnikan said that a political party will be started in a particular person's name and the name of the political party will be announced by December 31. Within three days of that declaration, I published a video that the superstar Mr. Rajnikanth will not become the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. Eventually, what I said was made true. Many people strongly suggested that I should not give an open statement in my videos that was contrary to the superstar's decision. And they also mentioned that many other astrologers are supporting him through their videos. On the contrary, I was publishing a video of denying the possibility of becoming chief minister. I answered that I have great confidence in Vedic astrology. And you all know that Superstar did not start a political party proving the rules of Vedic astrology. At the current time, Discussions are going about Mr. Ajit Kumar, who has won the hearts of many people and is known for his good deeds, if he will enter into politics or not. Now let us see whether the natal chart of Mr. Ajit supports his political entry. As for Mr. Ajit Kumar's natal chart, the Dasha of the Sun, that is the major planetary period of the Sun, starts around 59 years of age that is from 10 11 2031 that is november 10 2031 the ascendant lord is exalted in his natal chart the ascendant lord sun itself is a significator of politics in addition to this the dispositor that is the house lord where sun resides is also exalted. Based on my concept of Subhatva, Pabhatva and the astrological rules, when the house of Leo and the lord of house of Leo, which is the sun, is Subhatva, one will get an opportunity to enter into politics. This is a Vedic astrology rule. In the natal chart of Mr. Ajit, house of Leo is strengthened by the aspect of Mars, but it is not Subhatva. In other words, there is no connection of natural benefits such as Jupiter or Venus to the house of Leo. At the same time, there is no Pabhatva connection. Because I have already told Mars is a Raja Yogadipati, and his aspect is not considered to be Pabhatva. The waxing moon is indeed heading closely towards the ascendant house. The ascendant lord sun neither got Subhatva, that is the connection of a natural benefic. However, I can say one point strongly. There is a concept that when Sun and Leo got Subhatva, definitely NATO will get opportunities to gain positions in the government. However, to compensate this, when Sun is extremely strong in one's natal chart, one can get positions in the politics. All these are possible though the house Leo and house Lord Sun is not Subhatva. Having said this, the Sun resides in the ninth house to the Ascendant and it is heading towards Digbala that is directional strength 
and it has got complete sanabala by exaltation status sun is in deep exaltation status this highly indicates that mr ajit has a great inclination towards politics and he will definitely enter into politics i'm an astrologer who strongly expressed my idea my prediction that mr rajnikant the superstar will not enter into politics based on the astrology terms in the natal chart of mr ajit the major planetary period of venus will continue for 10 more years after 10 years when the dasha of sun starts ajit will definitely enter into politics there is a general suggestion not to predict any astrological events post 40 months i have often reiterated the importance of this duration of 40 months in many of my videos why are we restricting that an astrologer should limit his predictions to 40 months because accurate predictions can arrive if only an astrologer checks the planetary transit as well the predictions cannot be complete without the knowledge of planetary transit there is a chance that one's prediction can go wrong post 40 months as there is a chance of getting the predictions wrong by an astrologer who is not aware of the planetary transit post 40 months mr ajit was introduced in the film industry during the major planetary period of mercury and minor planetary period of venus in 1992 and needless to say today he is one of the leading actors of the tamil film industry and definitely in the future during venus major planetary period and mercury minor planetary period the planetary position in his natal chart will definitely help him to enter into politics and he will definitely hold good positions in the political field last time uh, during the election i explained that mr stalin who is the current chief minister of tamil nadu will win i already predicted that, that mr stalin would win the election i explained his natal chart and the planetary position that helped him to become the chief minister of tamil nadu in addition to that i also explain other reasons to be more precise based on the strength of the leader of the opposite political party who was mr edapadi i concluded that mr stalin will definitely win the election i have explained and predicted long back that mr stalin will win the tamil nadu election based on the position he held already which was mayor of chennai and the natal chart of his opponent party leader mr edapadi i predicted already that it is only mr stalin who will win the 2021 election of tamil nadu the reason the main reason is that any leader who stood in the opposite political party did not have such an auspicious natal chart as mr stalin so no other politicians had such a great planetary position as mr stalin during the election of tamil nadu i clearly explained those in my videos to predict if mr ajit will become chief minister of tamil nadu we have to definitely check the natal charts of the contemporary political leaders of the future based on the strength and auspiciousness of the charts of the contemporary politicians we have to conclude whether mr ajit will succeed as chief minister of tamil nadu who will be the competitor of ajit possibly it is important to know about it many people identify that a person from a political party moreover of mr ajit's age could be in the opposite party of mr ajit i'm going to definitely explain the natal chart of that political person as well in my future videos if only we compare the natal chart of mr ajit and the possible contemporary politician 
in the opposite party we can identify we can make predictions if mr ajit will become the chief minister of tamil nadu or if the person who stands on the opposite party or if the person who will stand on the opposite party become the chief minister of tamil nadu definitely mr ajit will enter into politics in a few years that is for sure definitely certain achievements will be done by mr ajit and moreover there will be some changes brought by mr ajit we will definitely predict whether mr ajit will become the chief minister of tamil nadu in a few years best wishes to everybody in my next video i'm going to explain the effects of the moon in 12 different houses for the native of sagittarius ascendant well this is question time what is the primary reason that we consider astrologically that decides the political entry of mr ajit please write your answers in the comment section of this video in the description box we have added the playlist link of all the english videos so far published the link of aditya guruji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both ios and android users the link of google play store app is also given in the description box that is available for only android users the tamil version of this video many people are requesting please check the description box we always give it please write your feedback to astro.writeus@gmail.com thank you